Alpha. Introducing auto framing using AI based subject recognition technology that makes it possible to leave framing to the camera. With auto framing, the camera will continuously adjust framing like an experienced camera operator. AI automatically recognizes the subject and begins framing, so professional looking camera work starts the instant you enter the frame. The subject is shown enclosed in a white frame on the LCD monitor, so it is easy to check framing and tracking progress. Normal fixed angle shots can get boring if they go on too long. Auto framing can maintain interest by keeping the subject in a prominent position. In addition to letting the camera select the auto framing subject, the operator can specify any subject at any time. To select a different subject during an interview that involves several people, for example, simply touch the subject on the camera's LCD monitor. The resultant video won't look like it was shot from a fixed position. Now let's try setting up the auto framing feature. Go to auto framing settings in shooting options, turn auto framing on, and select the start timing. Auto start is the default and a good choice for shooting selfies. The camera automatically starts framing when it recognizes a person. Select start when tracking to control the start timing yourself. Touch the subject to start framing. You can also switch subjects by simply touching the new subject. Another way to select a subject is to use Sony's Creators app on your smartphone or tablet. There is also a mode that smoothly turns auto framing on and off at 15 second or 30 second intervals. The view changes automatically, so this feature can be useful for streaming applications. Next, we'll select the crop level to set the size of the subject in the frame. When large is selected, the camera zooms in so that the subject fills the frame. Selecting small has the opposite effect, making the subject appear smaller. The last step is to set the framing tracking speed. The higher the value, the faster the framing position and zoom will change, Fast tracking speeds are ideal for fast-moving subjects. On the other hand, fast framing speeds can make auto-framing too sensitive to subject movement. In such cases, a lower value and slower tracking can result in more stable framing. Two output settings are provided, one that enables or disables auto-framing for internal recording and streaming, and one for the HDMI output. These can be set independently for each output type, so that different views can be output at the same time, making it easy to create multi-camera type footage with just one camera. With a little imagination, you'll be able to come up with many more applications than we have introduced here. Get creative and see what this versatile feature can do for you.